Jeez. That, is, that was, that just got shredded. The unit. Massive sally out over here on this side. And on this side as well. Huge sally out by Masesli. Already. In this fight. A very aggressive play by these defenders here. But hello everybody and welcome to another awesome battlefield. Wow, Sparta getting over here as well. Let me go ahead and get the commanders really quick and let's get back over to this, this sally out that we have. So first off, we'll go with Masesli who is obviously having a good time over here. He's going to be led by African Raider. Then we're going to have Sparta who is going to be led by Trojans. And then lastly, we're going to have Athens, who's going to be led by Inspector, who is the one who sent this battery play in. Thank you so much, dude. I really, really appreciate it. Or his other alias would be Overwrite, or it would be Nate. So I really, really appreciate you sending this battery play in. Thank you so much for sending it in. If anybody else wants to send in battles, definitely feel free to do that and do that in my uh, Discord. But yeah, Thorax Swordsman gonna come over here just wanting to get rid of Macedon. This is awesome. This is awesome. But yeah, let's go ahead and get the attackers now. We're gonna have Macedon who's just getting completely picked on right now. Gonna be led by Al Shia Al Shia San. Al Shia Shan. Jan. Sure. <laughs> and then we're gonna have over here. We're going to have Carthage who's gonna be led by Big Daddy Terry Killed You. Very long name. And then we're going to have Rome. Very odd alliance here. Like Carthage and Rome here. But Rome is going to be led by Zippy. So nice. But yeah, let's get back over here to the Sally Out. Mastodon trying to fall back a little bit here. But you got to be careful because there is some more Numidian Riders here. Shield Bear General getting really spread out here. He needs to be reformed up. Of course, he's not going to be able to do very much. Citizen Cavalry still just getting picked on by some Royal Peltis here. This is a massive sally out. I did see something over here. I'm wishing to recruit an archers. God, my nose itches. These guys are a dangerous spot here for these uh, defenders because they have a Spartan general here. And Spartan pikemen too, so lots of pikemen. So yeah, they do have a mercenary Cretan archer for themselves and another one here. So they could potentially do some damage there to those guys, but they they don't see it. It's gonna be bad. But still, this sally out still very much so alive. These pikemen dropping their pikes. Oh, charging right into them is this horseman. Up to 110 kills though. That's fantastic. Get them away from those pikes. These Thorax Swordsmen should turn around and hit those pikes right in the back. This, wow, this, this Aspen companion, or Aspis companion cab, 199 kills. That's amazing. Good job. Still a lot more stuff over here that could be probably sallied out to take care of some of this stuff. I mean, it's also a good way to just stay there and defend, really. But companion is still getting more kills up to 62 now charging those horsemen right into those pikes probably not the best idea probably not oh here comes the cavalry literally Carthage and Macedon bringing over some more cavalry to just to mitigate the rest of this sally out here Thorax swordsman now getting charged right in the back by this noble cav these guys are really a very heavy shot cavalry gonna be able to do a lot of damage right here but oh here goes this Aspis companion cav if this Thorax Swordsman can break off, they should be able to get those guys right into melee and do some damage. But now the Shield Bearer General is coming over here and it's going to cause them some trouble. The uh, Hippias Lancer up to 48 kills. Very good cavalry right here. Macedon still just having a tough, tough fight. But they are continuing their advance. That's good. Let's see what's going on on the rest of the battlefield. Looks like Carthage is moving up some of these siege towers. They are doing a little bit of a dance here and spinning around. Rome being very aggressive, very spread out attack on this one. And this is why you don't want to spread out like this is because 
sally outs like that can happen now you're gonna pick on somebody so yeah oh the median riders looks like they're gonna try to get over here to these archers where did the other one go i thought there was like multiple over here they might be hiding they definitely might be hiding if that median rider can get over here that's not gonna be good for those guys looks like they might turn around no nope. go 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 run away run away from those run away go 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 they might not i mean they're probably not going to survive but if they can get to those archers any advantage is good but yeah here they are here's those archers there they go they're going to attack these guys here but yeah like i was saying though you just do, you don't want to you don't want to spread your attack out too much you want to be able to support each other in a lot of a closer proximity so just keep that in mind just a tip i'm not trying to be rude or nothing i like to just give lots of tips but here is a huge charge by those Numidian Riders. The 89 there. 90. I'm going to charge right through and try to get to these other archers here. Get those. Oh, no. Spartan pikemen. These are such good pikes, too. Right in the back. Sparta, what are you doing? Sparta. Turn around. Oh, ping-ponging now. Good job by this Numidian Rider. Already up to 114 kills. I'm not sure why the Citizen Cap's not getting in there. The Citizen Cap could definitely kill this Dominion Rider. 137. Wow, they're getting so many kills. Why is this Why is this Bastion not doing anything? He thought that the, he probably thought that they were still attacking. Okay, it looks like yeah. Thorax was in 71 kills. 88 kills. Probably not the most amazing kills in the world, but now they have the ballista gonna be able to help out there's a big blob right here to murder some serious horses right here let's see if they get another shot off maybe now that i'm watching they probably won't and as soon as i walk away or not walk away but get away they won't pro they'll start, probably start shooting okay there goes that numidian scrimmage or numidian rider there how many kills did they get 174 that archer unit is routing that's awesome Awesome. I'm not sure what Sparta's doing. Like, he hasn't even moved. Maybe he's just got tunnel vision over here. Because he's worried about Praetorian Guard. Which is, rightfully so, a good thing to worry about. Okay. Hoplite's over here. Holding against these Auxiliary Infantry and Hastati. Hastati and, and Auxiliary Infantry almost gone. Here comes some more reinforcements as the Thurio Spears... Picked hoplites, Cretan archers, and then also Sparta is coming over with some Spartan hoplites. Should be able to hold this side very well. The balance of power, though, is in favor of the attackers after that big, big sally out. You know, sometimes it pays off, sometimes it doesn't. You never really know. Um, you know, it's just kind of the luck of the draw sometimes. Oh, facing the wrong way. Ah. That's, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Yeah, so it uh, looks like Spartus is still taking it. Just uh, letting its packs get shot. Uh, I don't recommend this at all. Not even a little bit. Not even at all. Just don't do this. Like, get your packs out of there. Or turn them around. Ugh. They just murdered your pikes, dude. That sucks. Ah. Yeah, you gotta get those guys out of there. Alright, let's see how we're doing over here. Macedon still has some troops left. That's good. They're starting to attack here. Shield bearers and Royal Peltis now. Gonna face off against some Spartan hoplites in this in these narrow streets of Vestania. Ves, Ves, Vestio? Vestanio? Or Vest Ves Vesontio. Sure. I hope that's how you pronounce it. That is the settlement. I don't know if I said that yet. I don't think I did. But yeah. This is that settlement. I'm not going to try to pronounce it again. We do have a Roman Ballista getting into the settlement now. Protected by some Eagle Cohort, Armor Legionaries, and the General's Bodyguard. Uh-oh. Mercenary Syrian Archers. That's got to be a misclick. These guys have no kills. Yeah, you got to put these Archers on guard mode. Or else they're going to follow whatever is... Whatever they're shooting at. But now these Spartan Hoplites are going to get some nice free kills. If they can figure their lives out. Yeah, get those guys. 
taken care of. But oh, here comes Libyan Infantry. Libyan Infantry is one of my favorite infantries. They look badass. They look menacing. And they are very much so indeed scary. So yeah. And it's Carthage. Carthage is a very good balanced. Whoa. Whoa. Very good balanced faction. Because uh, they get elephants, pikes, really good infantry, really good archers. So I like I like Carthage. I like Kush too. Kush is pretty decent. Like, what's your guys' favorite faction? Let me know down in the comments down below. What where are we at for time here? We're already 11 minutes into the fight. Yeah, if you guys are liking this battle, make sure to hit that like button. It really really goes a long way. Um, and also feel free to leave a comment down below. You know, I always love hearing you guys' comments and your feedback on what you guys thought of the battle, stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, any tips or anything that you have for the battle, uh, it's always good and always welcome. You know, teach somebody something new. Teach me something new, too. I always am learning new. I'm not the best player in the world on Rome 2. I, always, I will never claim to be. But uh, I just like to have fun and uh, obviously give you guys something to watch and you know, share my love for a very fantastic game. So, if you guys want to be a part of that and want to, and you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that sub button. You know, what? feel like you know, feel free to hit that sub button. I mean, no obligation, but it's super easy. Just hit that on the bottom, hit that subscribe button, and also don't forget to hit that bell notification if you do, so you guys don't miss out on any future content. Because uh, I don't want you guys to miss anything. I post a lot of battles, some amazing epic battles. So don't miss out on that kind of stuff. But all right, let's get back into it. So it looks like Macedon, surprisingly, Macedon is still, you know, still pressing and still has troops. You know, that whole uh, Carthage uh, cavalry coming in to help save the day really saved Macedon's army. So this guy's got to be grateful for that for sure. So he is now pressing his attack. It looks like he has some Carthaginian support up here as well. Excuse me. With these mercenary Cretan archers, who should eh, should be able to shoot over that. I'm not sure how far they could shoot with that. I would think that they could shoot pretty. Maybe the, these guys, the desert cohort, maybe. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Do not know. Yeah, the Mastodon kind of facing. You know, just kind of taking it slow. Rome's being the Real, real aggressor over here. Trying to get these uh, Thorax Swordsmen off the fight. Barda looks like they're going to fall back. Probably a good idea. Probably a good idea. 42 minutes left in this fight still, though. Jeez. Looks like these guys might get cut off here. Yeah. If these archers could help out, though, I would definitely recommend that. Shoot the backs of these Praetorian guards. The Spartan Hoplites, though, are... I don't know if you guys have watched the battle or the movies 300 or know about the Spartan 300 at the Thermopylae Pass, but uh, 300 Spartans held back a whole entire army of Persia for, you know, a few days. So, yeah, I mean, okay, so it was more than just 300 Spartans, though. There was like, I think there was like, I think it was 5,000 or 10,000. That was kind of a big window of uh, different Greek cities, states. They kind of all came together, but uh, once the Persians found a go hidden goat path, the uh, Spartans were the last ones to stay to help hold the line to let everybody else retreat, and uh, they they held the pass for themselves by themselves for a while. So yeah, they, they are designed. They are meant to be surrounded. They will hold for a while. They have really good morale. So, so yeah. I don't know if you knew that about the the Spartans that they they still were there was still other Greeks there at the battle of Thermopylae, but Spartas are always the ones that are famous for it because they stayed behind and sacrificed themselves for the rest of the Greeks to get away to live to fight another day. And uh, yeah, I do love Greek 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 history. I am a huge Greek nerd. I love a history. I'm a history nerd too. I love history. I watch another YouTube channel. It's called Kings and Generals. Definitely go check them out. I'm like, I'm not paid or anything for supporting these guys yet. Anyway, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but I, I'm always 
going to support other channels that I really like. And uh, Kings and Generals is a fantastic historical historical channel. They, they, they're like a history channel. Like sometimes they're better than the History Channel documentaries. They do so well. And oh, I seriously love it. It covers like all, all periods really. Like it'll even go into modern time, uh, modern time history too. Like during World War II or the, you know, the uh, Desert Storm or, you know, stuff like that too. Like all kinds of modern history as well. I definitely recommend checking it out. Kings and Generals, fantastic, fantastic channel on YouTube's. Yeah, it's all like, and, and the guy's voice is just, is really soothing. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I'll fall asleep to his voice all the time. I won't even lie. Like, I'll fall asleep to his voice. It's very soothing. I mean, these archers are actually coming in pretty clutch, killing lots of Romans. Like, these guys were pretty, pretty good surrounded, and, and they killed them pretty well. Pretty, pretty good surrounded and killed them pretty well. Sometimes words, <laughs> they're doing a good job is what I'm trying to say. Murdering these Triari I hear. But Rome is coming. These, these Spartans are just holding the line. I'm not sure what these guys are doing. Oh, no. These guys are surrounded over here. That's not good. What is Sparta doing? Well, he has good Cretan archers over here. These Cretan archers could definitely help out a ton over here. Come on, Sparta. Get over there. We got three Cretan archers here. That could seriously help out so much right here. This would be amazing right here. I really hope Sparta moves over. I'm not sure what's happening. Why is not why is Sparta not doing anything? Mm. Yeah, just a just a tip. Uh, when you see this kind of stuff, you're like your troops getting surrounded, your allies getting surrounded, and you got some really nice archers here. Move those guys over here and uh, line them up and start helping them out. You're getting some amazing shots into these these pikes are gonna destroy these guys without support. Like they're not gonna be able to hold at all like here we go here we go archers there we go now we're moving yeah get those guys over there there's only, only seen one though Sparta's bringing over some more troops I like it I'm gonna kill these Cretan archers they don't have anything over else over here but oh mama here comes Carthage and Macedon yeah I don't know if these guys are gonna survive over here Massive blobbing going on. Desert cohort, so many kills. Oh, they did tell me that the funds were on ultra, the ultra funds. So, lots of very elite troops on the battlefield. Desert cohort, gold, single gold chevron. Yeah, that's gonna do some pretty good job here. I don't know why I keep saying that. Pretty good job. They're gonna do a good job here. But the pikes. Yeah. These are what are the, okay. What are you doing with the archers, Sparta? Come on, kill them! Come on, what are you doing? Okay, it's, now Sparta's facing the wrong way, and I'm seeing lots of mistakes. I'm not trying to be rude or nothing, but I'm seeing a lot of mistakes by Sparta over here. Not sure what they're doing. I'm not trying to pick on anybody at all. I'm just saying like this. Is, yeah. That's a really big missed opportunity. All right, let's see what's going on over here. Rome is facing off. This is, a, I think, right here. Fantastic opportunity to counterattack right here. Because Rome is focused a lot of their troops on this side. And you have a lot of decent troops here that could definitely do... Like, something against these guys. Like, they could do a really good job. I think you have pikes over here. Do they have pikes? Uh, no, just hoplites. Uh... Maybe not. Maybe bring over one of the pikes. Bring over one of the pikes over here and have archer support. That would be huge too. Shoot these guys in the sides. But just even even just moving the, those guys up, start counterattacking. Because there's a thin line of troops here. And you could get surrounding on these on these Romans over here. 
just just obviously just things to think about. I mean, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to do what I got, what I say. I could be wrong. You know, I just like to be proactive when I'm doing things. Just kind of reacting and you know doing different things when I'm when I'm battling, thinking of different strategies. Obviously, when you're in the battle and you're in the heat of the moment, like sometimes you don't even you get tunnel vision sometimes, and it totally ha I've done it all the time. And so I would always want someone to give me that criticism back. And so I like to give you guys tips as well. And so don't ever think that I'm, I'm trying to be rude or nothing like that. I'm not trying to pick on anybody. I'm just trying to help out future people, future future generals in battles and whatnot. So, so yeah, just don't ever... I'm not trying to be mean or rude or pick on anybody. But here we go. Archers starting to do their job. Starting to just get their backs to these guys. They're going to start melting them. They did pop a uh, quick reload. I did see that. So these guys should do a good job. These guys might actually survive now. Now that these archers are opening up. Good job. They, f they read my mind. You see? Like, I give that tip and they're like, we got you. Let's start, let's start slinging some arrows. There they go. Pikes are gone now. Shield bearers. Royal Peltist. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. These guys probably got, yeah, 40 kills already. That's awesome. And it's just a huge morale. Just kills morale when they're getting shot like that. Losing but losing combat, yeah. They're just getting demolished. And then they got tribal slingers over here. Oh, my. Oh. Huge volleys right there of those slingers right into the sides of those royal peltists. Yeah, that's awesome. And now this, this side is going to open up. And be able to move freely over here. Huge turnaround right there. That's awesome. Now. Now things to think about again. Now if you break through this way. Which you will. And now you'll be able to defend right here. And then if you press these guys on this side. You'll be able to defend here. And here. And start pressing around. Maybe even getting in the rear of these guys. And, you know, same thing over here. You can go this way, go through this alley here, to attack over this way. You know, it gives you more options when they start trying to attack this this, this way. Because the victory point's right here. You want to make sure you are still supporting your guys that are over here. Because if they break through, they could also do the same thing and deny you to get to the victory point. If you're not aggressive over here as well. So they could be really smart and, and block you off with a good troop. And zip right through and capture this victory point so things that i've seen some crazy stuff and i've posted crazy stuff where they're in the middle of the fight they're way over here and then all of a sudden they have a sneaky troop come through and just go right up there and just capture the victory point with like in within like 10 minutes of the battle and they win and it's like what it it, it happens it happens sometimes so very smart stuff can happen very smart play you never never Never, never, never underestimate your opponents. Never. Never. Even in a random battle, you have no idea. No idea who you're playing against. I mean, you might. But, like, in a, in a random battle, you, you never know what can happen. All right. Looks like the Eagle Cohorts are going to take that take that initiative and start attacking the Spartan Hoplite. The Spartan Hoplite should hold a very long time. They do have that Hoplite wall up. If they could get some archer support right in the backs of these evil cohort, they could potentially break through. Which could be a really good thing for them. Because if they could break through here, that Spartan Hoplite could come back this way. Push this way with that Hoplite over here as well. Push with this picked Hoplite and defend these guys that are trying to push around behind. And then push more, more Hoplites through this side and defend over here so that they don't outflank your guys that are trying to surround these Romans. So just think, I always, always thinking about different things that could happen, different scenarios. And like, I always try to think like a few steps ahead of what could happen. That's what you want to do. So it's like a chess battle or a chess game. You got to think of different things that can happen in different scenarios. And, you know, like, oh, what if I do that? Oh, but they could come this way and attack me in the rear. So I got to do this. I got to defend right here and, and, and bring my troops over this way. So they see now they're seeing that. And they're like, oh, this is a potential. Like, they have a lot of light. They have a lot of... Or they have a lot of troops over here compared to our light troops. So they're like, well, why don't we send over some more heavier stuff? So, the missed opportunity there. And now they're going to start pressing in. 
and yeah so you always want to be aggressive i always say the best defense is an aggressive offense and selling out is one of my favorite things obviously you see how devastating it can be but also it can be devastating for you too and you know they look there's a lot of dead bodies out here but it's a lot of dead bodies on both sides so sometimes a delayed sally out's even better than a just right away sally out because the delayed one they're already attacking and making their their advances into the settlement making their plans and whatnot and then all of a sudden you throw a monkey wrench in there and you have a huge sally out and they're like oh what the heck do we do now they're like oh crap you know and it's that you gotta they, they have to react and if they don't react quick enough they can you can do some serious damage serious damage okay hoplites holding the line here romans doing what they do Romans do look really awesome though. I think these are Praetorian guards here. Yep, they are. The, always telltale sign. Purple cloaks. Purple cloaks. Praetorian guards. Let you know. Yeah, these guys are taking a beating though. 99 men left. I know it's on large unit sizes. Just fine. Not ultra, but it's large. Looks like we do have some archers shifting over. No, those are. Yeah, mercenary Cretan archers. And then we have mercenary Cretan archers. Heroes of Sparta. Oh yeah, heroes of Sparta. Those are like the 300 right there. Those guys are crazy. 105 armor. 105 armor. Crazy. Yeah, if they could, they could defeat this. I think these defenders will be sitting really nice. Really, really nice. Oh. Oh. Hello. We got elephants on the battlefield. I did not even see these guys. I did not even see these guys. Gotta love some elephants. Elephants are my favorite. My favorite. We do have an armored, armored Numidian Rider General. That could cause some serious damage. Lots of art. Oh, nice bombardments here. Don't want to be an explosive shot, though. They have explosives? Shot? Why? Why do you have explosive rounds? Don't use explosive rounds. Never, ever, ever use explosive shot. It doesn't even... It hardly does anything. Use flammable rounds. Flammable rounds and standard rounds. Standard rounds for very, very accurate... I mean, not very, very accurate, but more accurate shots. And they'll roll around, still bounce around, and do a lot of damage. A flammable round is going to do the most damage, but it's going to be more spread out, more, more, uh, um, I mean, less accurate. It's going to be less accurate, but do way more damage. The, uh, the grouping is going to be way more spread out. So, yeah. Always good tips to give out. Ooh. Okay, I was like, I thought there for a second this is a very thin line, but no, there's two Spartan Hoplites here. I would uh, actually bring these archers over here and focus on this, but eh, maybe not. Yeah, I guess I can see why, but you're shooting them right in the... Oh, what? How'd the Romans get right... What? How'd the Romans get through? Are they... Are they pulling through? That's that's a pull through. Yeah, they're destroying that arrow tower. Very smart move there. By uh Oh that's Inspector, yeah, by Inspector here. Are these guys out of ammo though? Ugh. Man, did they pull through? I don't know. I can't I wasn't watching the whole time. I don't know if that's a pull through. Trying to get these Spartan Hoplites out of there. I don't know if they're going to survive, though. To be honest with you. Down to 20 men. I'd keep... Yeah, I would have kept the 20 there and let the other guys run away. Because they're... I don't know if they're going to get away. Down to 51 men. 
Oh, that's rough. Yeah, this side's not looking too good. Yeah, beam. Here we go. Does this still have ammo? It's oh, this still has ammo. But I don't know if you know this, but you can still you can turn these. You can t turn these bastion ballistas. You, what you got to do is you got to left alt click. The left hold left alt, and then right click where you want it to go, and it'll turn and start bombarding that area. And you can even get inside of it and and aim it still. But you could turn that around once these guys start getting closer to this area, and uh, start bombarding them for sure. I like this play. Bring so they have a very lax um, attack right here, and so now they're allowing all these guys to get inside. That's awesome. Now this desert cohort might not make it. It looks like we're gonna have a Thurio spear who's probably out of ammo. Try to sacrifice and probably allow this desert cohort to get inside. Now these guys are gonna shift over. Nope. Looks like they're gonna bring them back over that way. Heroes of Sparta are going to hold the line with the Spartan Hoplites. These mercenary Cretan archers complete ammo. They have full ammo. I've only fired like maybe one volley, if that. But ooh, looks like Carthage is trying to get to that desert, or that Libyan, or, uh, Libyan infantry, trying to get to this desert cohort. Desert cohort just really trying to get inside. I mean, sometimes you gotta, yeah, you just gotta fight sometimes. I know you're trying to get them in there, but sometimes you just gotta fight. But it looks like they're gonna throw in the archers. That's why I never, I always try to save my archers, because you never know when they could come in handy. They're gonna, they're gonna pin infantry down and allow some other elite, more elite troops to get through. So that's really good. I like that play by the archers. Cause they, I think these guys are probably out of ammo. But yeah. These guys using lots of ammo, trying to kill these archers. I wouldn't necess necessarily choose to shoot the archers here. Save that ammo. Your infantry should be able to kill them <laughs> fairly easily. If they can't kill archers, there's something wrong with them. Yeah, Rome has shifted over a lot of his troops on this right flank, so they got to reinforce this 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 gap. They, they, they two hoplites are not going to be able to hold for a very long time. I mean, I mean, well. I should rephrase that. They're not going to be able to hold forever. Like, there's 23 minutes in the battle. I don't think they're going to be able to hold for 23 minutes. It is Heroes of Sparta. And a Spartan Hoplite. But they got to bring over something else, too. Oh, wow. Royal Spartan General down to 48 men. I'd shift over, you know, maybe some of these, these tribal slingers start, you know, really doing some damage against Rome here. Uh, slingers actually have way more armor penetration than an arrow or archer unit, which is kind of crazy to me. But I mean, if you think about it, it's a really just like a like a specific missile that they make, and they have like points on them, and they just fling those rocks so fast, and yeah, then they're like direct on, and they they can penetrate armor pretty well. So that Rome has a lot of armor in its in its troops. That's why I brought it up. So they could do some serious damage to, to Rome and Carthage here. And they're bringing over pikemen. And yeah, here they go, starting to attack the hoplites. Royal Spartans already up to ten kills and down to down two men already. Hopefully they hold. They're not in hoplite wall though. I don't know how long they're gonna hold. Mercenary Cretan archers. I would shift your fire over to these archers because these archers are gonna try to try to kill your pikes and stuff, and they're trying to kill your archers as well. Looks like they're using what? Who's using flaming shot? Who's what? Who's using flaming rounds? Oh, I think it's the is it the arrow tower? No. I don't know. I don't know who's just playing around, but they need to stop that right away. Okay. 21 minutes left in this fight still. They still have that armor and medium rider. Honestly? Honestly. That cavalry could could do serious damage if they would if they would have gone this way. 
because they could break through all these light troops here, get to all these archers and the Roman general. That 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 is a huge thing that could happen there. But it also, I know it's your general. You don't want to risk losing your general. But it looks like, yeah, a lot of the defenders are falling back to the final area. But it looks like Masesli is going to hold the line. Oh, that was a huge javelin volley there. These guys turning their backs. Mercenary Italian swordsmen. These guys should, I mean, they should potentially hold. They are bringing over this tribal slingers. Hopefully they're able to start opening up on these guys here. I'd get them up on this this section here. Start shooting these 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 uh I'd probably actually go for these mercenary time swordsmen personally. That's a pretty good angle shot on them. They're just gonna cycle charge, that's good too. Good tactic by the attackers there. Oh, here goes the pikemen. Yeah, these guys not gonna hold for a very long time and the the uh, those Syrian archers those Syrian archers are going to be able to, to shoot any defending pikes that try to come over. So smartly they are going to probably hold back the pikemen. You know that that one Spartan hop, that one Spartan pikeman did get shredded by that Cretan archers up here, which is very unfortunate. So they only have I think only the one pike defending. Nope, they do have another pikeman. Looks like Athens still has a pike here. That's good. And they still have... I mean, it looks like they might have decent ammo left. So that is one thing that the defenders have going for them. But they need to be careful with these tribal slingers. They're, like, in a weird angle here. I don't know if they're actually going to do too much in that specific spot. They, I would get them up on the wall here. Because they could shoot right down. Yeah, there goes the desert cohort right there. And this one's down to 39 men. 262 kills. That's crazy. I would start opening up with these archers up on top here. As these guys fall back. 200 with that cohort. Oh my gosh. Huge volleys right in the back. These guys still alive. I don't know how, but they are. Open up with those archers. Let those guys retreat. That's a huge unit. That's a big, big unit right there. Could come in handy. There they go. Oh, that's an arrow tower opening up. Those are fantastic back shots right there. Shoot, Sparta. What are you doing? Open fire! You have so much ammo, you need to use it. I know there's 17 minutes in the fight, but you got to use it. I know they still have elephants. So, I mean, I guess I understand why they're not using a lot of their ammo. But you got you to gotta use some of it. Like, you got to use it still. Because, like, there's so many troops over here. A lot of really good troops. And, like, and maybe focus on some of their archers, too. This is rough. <laughs> this is rough. I don't know. This, I mean, there's still 17 minutes left. But yeah. You know, 39, 39 minutes into the battle, I would like to say, again, if you guys are enjoying it, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps out a lot. And also, if you guys are new to the channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on any future Total War content. I really post a lot. I know lately I haven't been doing a whole mu whole bunch because I've been in the process of moving. So, that has been going on. <laughs> but we are, we are uh, going to get back into it and start posting every single day once the moving process is done. I like that they're focusing on these archers. That's a smart... Smart, smart move. But here comes those African war elephants. Shoot them right now. Why are you not shooting at them? Are you guys out of ammo? Why are you on the walls with no ammo? Oh, get out of there. Elephants. Uh, pikemen. Oh, thank God. Pikemen are coming over. Hey. Oh, God. This is so... This is not going to be good at all. This is... I'm so scared right now for these defenders. Ah. But it is hoplites. Here's a Sparta. Okay, stop right there. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Thank. Get those pikes down. Get them down. There you go. 
Elephants do not like pokey things. And these are a lot of pokey things. Which one of you peasants did that? We're gonna use the elephant to capture the. Oh my gosh. They're not supporting the elephant at all. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's amazing. I don't know why they charge that. I don't know why they charge that. Why they charge the pikemen with their elephants? They're just gonna get shredded. Oh, that was a huge mistake by Carthage. I cannot believe they just did that. Yeah, a little bit too late there with the noble fighters. And now the pikemen are gonna be able to kill the noble fighters. Those elephants did not like hardly anything. There goes the general Armin Median riders. Popping that intimidate. Nice. These guys should be able to to help out there. These slingers have ammo still. No, they don't. They have their daggers out. Wow. I'm surprised that those guys don't have any ammo left. Okay. Pick top lights holding the line against a bunch of Romans here. Our, uh, mercenary Cretan archers starting to really open fire on these... Uh, Attacking uh, missile troops here. Really doing a ton of damage. I still can't believe that elephant unit just charged in like that. That's a, that, that was crazy. 90 men still left in this pikeman unit. They still have another pikeman. Ath Athens pikeman. And a pig hoplite. This is crazy. That was a huge turnaround. The balance of power is dead even. Maybe, maybe even slightly in favor of the defenders now at this point. After that huge turnaround with the elephants. Oh my gosh, 13 minutes. I'm really glad I didn't fast forward that because that was... Whew, that was a huge moment there. Roman general over here still. They do have African pikemen still. Has 18 kills, that's good. I mean, it's still anybody's game. It's still anybody's game right now. They do have Noble Cav over here, 20 men in that one. Pikeman pressing over here, pushing these Noble Fighters back in Libyan Infantry. I like it. I like the Desert Cohort over here, supporting them. Mercenary Cretan Archers to do a serious amount of damage over here. We got African Pikemen coming over, so get those guys over there. Start killing those African Pikemen. Uh, looks like we have an attack order with these Tribal Slingers going to charge in over here. Looks like they're going to attack this mercenary noble fighter. Now we have arrow tower captured by Misesili. We're going to start shooting at these guys as they just sit here. That's a huge, huge bonus for these defenders here. Mercenary Cretan archers assuming their position on the wall. They do have ammo still. They still have their bows out. We're going to start opening up on these Cretan archers. That's probably a good play. Probably a good pay play. I think the Spartan... Pikes are definitely better. Definitely better than these African pikes. The Spartan pikes would definitely win that. That would definitely win that fight. Even though they're lower in men, they could they could win that for sure. Yeah, these slingers really getting into the fight, being a nuisance right now. These Cretan archers trying to get these guys to break. I'm still surprised these guys are still alive. Rome, how are they doing over here? Faring against this side. Pikemen have now replaced the hoplites that were over here. We have pikemen versus African pikemen. The African pikemen are going to win that. African pikemen are going to win that fight. In that moment, I would actually fall back here. And then have hoplites here and hoplites here. And have your Cretan archers make them have to choose where they attack. Make a kill box here. I know you might potentially lose the arrow tower, but I think that would be your best bet on doing that. Because then you would have to force those pikes to get in an awkward situation, and that could really turn it to your favor. But balance of power has now shifted back to the attackers after those tribal slingers charged in. Now the uh, manpower is now shifting back over to these guys. If this thing could turn around, that would be amazing at this point right now. This thing still has ammo, still has the boulder in there. If you could turn that around, you would be able to, 
just murder. Murder right here. Those African pikes. Those are at a, an amazing angle for you. You could just, just shoot right over and just go run right through these guys and make them streaks. Oh, that would be so huge if you could do that. You turn that guy around. These pikes are getting shot up like this. I'd retreat them. Retreat them a little bit. Rome is pushing through. Really pushing through over here. Oh my gosh, this is a crazy fight. What a fight. Pikemen are getting dwindled down very slowly. Throw in something. Anything. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. Oh no, the balance of power is just not looking good. If these pikemen could get in there, but those, those, those archers are just... They're just doing too much damage to those pikes right now. I don't know how these guys are still alive. These guys are out of ammo now. Not looking good for these defenders. Pair top lights running over. Going to try to defend this flank. Try to relieve these new riders. They're at pretty decent kills. How are they getting so many good kills right now? I've only lost two men. Rome is really wavering. Pikemen for Athens is getting thrown in against the African pikemen. African pikemen are a very solid pikemen for Carthage. Like I said, Carthage is a very well-balanced faction. They get decent pikes too. They get elephants. They get it all. Ooh, p cavalry. Whoa. Breaking through the lines, getting to the back of those pikemen. That's a huge charge right there. I don't know if that was a pull through, but that, that was a huge charge right there right into the backs of those pikes wavering now are those african pikes that that's a huge turnaround now they can get into the backs of all these guys if they could get rome taken out of this fight that could be huge sacred band charging and mercenary italian swordsman noble calf general they could re re get this stuff secured on this side that could really turn this fight around yes, like in in favor of the defenders for sure Mercenary Cretan Archers still holding the line. Spartan Pikemen down to 28 men. Not a whole lot left on this flank. Not a whole lot left. Okay, picked up, picked up lights. Still holding the line. I think the reinforcements from Carthage is not going to allow them to resecure this flank over here. Just reform the line. Ooh, big volley there. Reform the line, reform hoplite wall, and just hold the line. Now we have the Noble Cav over here from Carthage getting back into the fight. Big top lights and heroes of Sparta, I believe. Yeah, Royal Spartans holding the line against the uh, Roman general. The Roman general is the only thing over on this side right now. If these guys break through here, there's nothing that's going to stop them from getting to these guys in the flank. That could be that could spell disaster for the Carthaginians here. They need to reinforce this flank over here on this side too. Because there's, like I said before, there's not a whole lot. These Spartan Pikes, though, still doing doing God's work <laughs> and just killing a lot right now. Wow, up to 140 kills. These guys are just just not giving up. This is crazy. Here comes an armored Median general going to try to help out. Nope. These guys now are going to be able to get into the flanks. Oh, my God. Oh. Holy crap! That was a massive volley right there. Look at that poor guy. Just go down, dude. Just go down. Oh, that was a massive volley. Oh, armored. No, that's Noble Cap. Okay, I thought that was Armored Minion Rider. Okay, pick top lights now. Gonna charge into these mercenary Italian swordsmen. This side is looking really, really good. For the defenders here, balance of power back at dead even. Okay, Carthage breaking. They're trying to capture this arrow tower, which would be huge. Spartan pikemen, 171 with 17 men left. How are they still fighting? Okay, huge turnaround. I have no idea how they survived. Tons of stuff just wavered and left the fight. These 17 Spartan pikes are just 
single-handedly holding the line right now. These mercenary noble fighters need to be taken out. Yeah, they're going to fall back a little bit, it looks like. Armored Union Riders, 27 men left in that one. Balance of power ever so slightly in favor of the defenders now. More Sacred Band wavering. Oh my god. Definitely now in favor of the defenders. Huge, huge back and forth fight, you guys. This is a crazy battle. Noble Cav General now charging in, saying that this fight is not over until I say so. Charging in this very heavy shot cav right into Hoplites and the Royal Spartans. Oh, yeah, that's not going to be a good thing ever. If these guys can secure this flank, that will be huge. Looks like the Armored Mini Rider is going to try to swing around and maybe get a back charge into these guys over here. The Cretan Archer, oh, these are Balearic Slingers trying to charge down to stop this... Uh, Armored Numidian Rider, but these these they're gonna be able to just run right through them slingers, and that's exactly what they did, right into the sides of these uh, noble fighters. This if they could capture this, that would be they might be able to get that, but it's just contested. Seventeen those seventeen pikes are charging in. They're like, I've secured this. I will not give up until this fight is over. It is not over till I say so. This is crazy fight. Oh my gosh. What a battle. Oh, Royal Spartan General is wavering. Unit loses decisively. Royal, oh, Spartan General is gone. Casualties sustained. Spartan Pikes are still staying in the fight. Hey, Top Lights holding the line. If they could get these guys out of here, that'd be huge. Noble Cav General still alive. Massacely is gone now. Massacely is gone. Spartan Pikes, will they hold against the no these noble fighters? Noble fighters getting around the backs of them. These guys are exhausted. Spartan Pikes up to 189, 16 men left. Looks like these guys are going to make a, a bead for the victory point. I would try to capture this point with this with this uh, Spartan Pike. No. Okay. They're just going to try to go around this elephant carcass. They're going to drop their pikes. I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know if that's a good idea. Only two minutes left in this fight, you guys. Who do you guys think is gonna win? Just give me your give me your predictions now. I don't even know. Defenders look like they might pull it off though with the balance of power. I don't know. Looks like the mercenary noble fighters are trying to to get this victory point, but as soon as there is a unit in there, it'll stop going. It'll neutralize. But they're not going to be able to capture it unless nobody's there. Excuse me. These 16 pikes could get that noble fighter. Oh, wait. What? They're going to keep going. They're going to try to get to the backs of these guys. Oh, no. Barton pikes. A wavering. Oh, my God. Pick top lights. Pick top lights. Still holding the line. Okay, they broke. Now they can turn around. Turn around, get those guys. Where's the general? Oh, no, no. Okay, they, they, they're they still facing that way, but they didn't get their spears down. Oh, my gosh. Oh, but, okay, the pikes are still here. They're exhausted, but they're still here. Okay, mercenary noble fighters wavering, exhausted. They're gone. They're gone, defenders. Let's go. Let's go. There's just the noble cav left. There's just a noble cav left. This noble cap still could pull it off though. But 28 men, these guys are on the move. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you charging out at that? No. No, don't charge them. Get the pikes down. Get your pikes down. Stop. Oh my god. What is happening? <laughs> oh my god, no. What is happening? Like I said, this could, this is anybody's game right now. The Spartan Pikes are gone. The Pikes are gone. 45 seconds left. Oh my, is the General still alive? He is. Oh God. Stop, 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 stop. You gotta stop running around so much. Okay, just get in the victory point and don't move. Don't move. Oh my god, this this is the uh This is a nail bite oh my god, no way. The wavering. Six fifteen seconds left. Fifteen. 
Oh my god! Oh my god. The attackers won the battle. Like I said, it could still be anybody's game. Holy crap. Wow. That was an insane battle. Holy crap. Wow. That was fun. That was really fun to watch. I really hope you guys liked that one. That was wowza. Okay, let's see how everybody did. Sparta getting 1,115 on the battlefield, the least amount on the battlefield. I mean, they, they are a holding faction. They're going to hold a lot. <clears throat> but yeah, 28 for his general, 46, 22 for his citizen cav, 153, 133, 103 for his archers. Heroes of Sparta, 77 and 96. Perioke hoplites, 36, 0 for his Spartan hoplites there. 37, 80, 0 for those, 47, 42, 0. 14, 11, 190, and one, 0 for that pikeman. Interesting. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened there with Sparta. African Raider getting 1,486. Crazy, crazy sally outs at the very beginning. 127 for his general. 11, 26, 114, 174, 28, 34, and 79 for his Numidian Riders. Slingers, 33, 45, and 13. Desert Cohort, 102, 119, 200, 274. Fantastic. The Tuli Tribesman, 20, 37, 30, 20, and 0. Inspector getting 1,615. Just a tip, dude. Don't charge. Don't ever charge with, with those guys. If you would have held that line there, he would have been forced to charge you, and you would have been spears up, and you would have just hit a brick wall, and you would have won that. You would have won that fight at that end. Oh, that was still crazy, though. Oh, I can't believe that, Val. Thank you so much for sending this in. Uh, overwrite, and that's his other name. Overwrite, and then Nate. So, yeah, dude, crazy fight. Picked top lights 181, 188, 60. Hop lights 60, 62. Thurio Spears 676 and 93. Pikeman 66. Thorax Swordsman 93, 71, 22, 23, 50, 33, and 62. Archers 100, 121, 83, and 113. Not bad. Hippias Lancers 58. Let's go to Macedon. Got picked on right at the beginning, at the get-go, but still held his own and getting 1,605 kills. Very good job, especially with the odds you were facing. That's really cool. You know, you faced a lot. You did. You held your own. Good, good job there, Macedon. 86 for his shield bearer general. 208 for that Apeus, or Aspis uh, companion cavalry. 76 for that citizen cav. 32, 12, 24. Whoa, well, he brought five archers. So 33 or 32, 12, 24, 21, and 30 for his archers. Book companion uh, pikeman 20, 223, and then 73 for that one. Hoplites 127, Royal Peltis 78, 92, 98. Shield bearers 129, 174, and 122. Freaking A. Zippy with Rome 1620, 11, 48 for his ballista 78, 30. 7 and 92 for his missile troops. Armor Legionaries getting 63, 128, 138, 81. Auxiliary infantry are not very good. They're not going to do very good at all. 19 and 17. <coughs> Excuse me. One, uh, 146 for his Eagle Cohort, 129, 106, and 95. 27 for his Stadi. Praetorian Guard, 189, 142, and 74. Let's go to Big Daddy. Terry killed, or... Uh, Big Daddy Terry killed you. Coming in clutch for the attackers. I can't even, st I still cannot get over that. That was an amazing, an amazing job. You guys must have been like, just. <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. 102 for his general being the last unit on the battlefield. Pulling that out. Victory. 48 for his elephants, though. Don't ever charge pikes. Don't ever charge bikes. Save them for the end. Save those elephants for the end. They could have came in clutch. And then we have noble noble cavalry. I mean, you still won. So don't get me wrong. You still won. But, but yeah, don't charge bikes. Uh, noble cav 70 and 87. 
So Cretan archers, 117, 80, 46, and 46 for his slingers. 104 for his sacred band. 108, 185 for his mercenary Italian swordsman. 95 and 64. Libyan hoplites, 21. Libyan infantry, 25 and 125 and 155. Mercenary noble fighters, 248, 116. Pikemen, 270 and 118. Great job with those pikes right there. Great job, everybody. I, I that, that battle was amazing. Thank you guys so much, everybody that was involved in this fight. Wow. I hope you guys hit that like button at the end there. If you guys stuck around, thank you. Because you guys really, if you guys missed it, <laughs> that ending was incredible. But yeah, thank you guys so much. And if you guys are new and you like and you guys like this, what you saw, like my commentary, like my reactions, uh, hit that sub button. I, I would really, really appreciate it if you guys joined the family, joined the Beater Brigade. And uh, yeah, but thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I am Bearded Warman, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.